Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. Today we will talk about the ADAS model. Uh, this is part 3A of our lecture, ADAS. So we talked in the, in the past about ADAS model and why AD, which stands for the aggregate demand curve, slopes downwards and why the AS curve slopes upwards. And now we can see what factors would affect, in this case, shift the AD curve. Uh, to show that, we need to draw our ADAS graph. And we know on the x-axis, we have real GDP, where we look at a base year. On the y-axis, we have price level, inflation, we are using $19.1 trillion and 1.9% inflation to give us point A, our equilibrium point. So once we have point A, we can then draw our downward sloping AD curve as such, and our upward sloping short run AS curve. So if you remember, we talked about AD and more in line with the expenditure model. And that would mean that we would have our GDP, which is our gross domestic product. And GDP is a function of consumer spending plus government spending plus investment spending plus net exports. And here we can see exactly how the GDP is generated through these four components. So today we'll talk about consumer spending. And we will see how consumer spending affects GDP, which thereby shift AD. Now for consumer spending, there are many types of factors that would shift AD either to the right or to the left. But to keep things consistent, we are gonna focus on AD shifting to the right. Number one, focuses on income. So we know that when income increases, you and I as consumers are going to increase our spending. So as income increases due to a wage increase, we can then see consumer spending increasing. And since we can see that there is a positive value in front of C, and C and GDP are both directly related, any increase in consumer spending is going to increase our GDP. And as GDP increases, this is going to shift AD to the right. Put on the side instead. AD will shift to the right. And this would make sense. Income increases, we spend more. GDP increases, AD shifts to the right. A second factor in consumer spending looks at what we like, taste, and what we prefer, our preferences. So when you like something, you're bound to buy it. When you prefer one good over the other, you're more likely to consume that good. So again, when we see consumers' taste and preferences increase for a certain good, we are going to consume more of that good. Hence, consumer spending will also increase. This, again, would affect GDP and would shift AD to the right all because of taste and preferences. Number three, we can look at consumer confidence. How much we as consumers feel about the economy today and in the next six months. 
Now, there is a way to measure consumer confidence through a five-question survey. But again, in essence, if we see consumer confidence increasing, this makes us believe that we can consume uh, the goods that we want today because we have a really good outlook in the future. This would in turn increase consumer spending, CS. And like we just saw with income and taste and preferences, GDP would also increase, thereby affecting AD to shift to the right. Number four, we can look at the price expectation by consumers. So when you and I expect the price of a good to increase at a future date, let's say tomorrow, there's a higher likelihood that you and I will buy that good today. Consumer price expectation. So let's say if you believe that home prices will, be, will increase next week or next month, there's a higher chance that you may want to buy that home today for fear of having the price increase next week, next month, and now it's out of reach. We call this speculation. So as you expect the price of a good to increase, you are bound to consume that good today. And as consumer spending increases, so does GDP. And AD will shift to the right yet again. And the last factor that affects AD is the sheer number of consumers that are entering the market. So as more and more consumers enter a market, there's a higher likelihood that they will consume more goods. And as consumer spending increases, GDP is bound to increase and AD will shift one more time to the right. The five factors that shifts AD to the right. And now back to our ADAS model, we can see that once any of these five takes place, we can now draw a new AD curve to the right. We can call this AD1, AD0, and show the shift to the right. And now we have a brand new equilibrium point at point B. All because of a higher income, all because of more tastes and preferences, all because of a stronger consumer confidence, all because we expect the price of a good to increase at a future date, and all because there are more consumers entering the market.